Hi, I'm Small Business Stacy. I'm Digital Dave. Where marketing meets technology. Welcome, everybody. Are you a small business owner who just struggles to find your documents and your receipts and all of your information? Something perhaps you created yesterday, much less three weeks ago. If that sounds like you, you're going to love what we talk about today. I have Digital Dave here who's going to talk about document management and how you as the small business owner can use the document management system to be more organized. Welcome Digital Dave. Hey Stacy. Hey. So you? I'm sure um, some of the small business owners out there are probably scratching their head thinking, what is a document management system? So can you answer that for us? So small biz, Stacy, that's a great question. And there are a lot of answers to that question. A lot of different, I guess, a different ways to answer that question pertaining to document storage and document management systems. And I'll, I'll go through some of those eventually later. A document management system is basically an environment that is controlled where documents are organized and can be searched, um, indexed, and shared with other people. Okay, so that sounds great. Now, I know, for example, just the other day, you had a computer that crashed. Will a document management system or storage system help with that type of a situation? <laughs> You, you bet, and, and, and I got to tell you, I, I've never been so grateful that the cloud came along. Uh, you know, I use a document management system, which is Google Drive, and I store all of my personal documents, all of our business documents, you know, pretty much everything is stored on that shared, you know, online cloud-based environment called Google Drive. There are others out there. Um, some of you may have OneDrive, Dropbox, um, you know, there's dozens of them out there, but I got to tell you, it was it was absolutely a, <laughs> a relief to know that the worst case scenario is if my computer didn't come back up, which it did, I got lucky, um, and if it didn't come back up, all I would need to do is really reinstall the operating system and the software, and all of my documents would miraculously reappear. Oh, how nice. Now, when you say cloud, people are thinking, oh, that thing up in the sky. So what, what does cloud mean? <laughs> well, let's talk about, uh, well, cloud means it's stored offsite, you know, by someone like a Google or an Amazon or a Microsoft or Oracle. There's many companies that offer cloud-based uh, document storage systems. And Really what the cloud means is the servers reside in the cloud, they're backed up in the cloud, and they can be accessed in most cases from any kind of device anywhere at any time as long as you have access to the internet. Okay, Digital Dave, can you give us a little demonstration of how this dot online cloud-based document management system works? Sure, Small Biz Stacy. We're going to take a look at the online document system that we use, which is Google Drive. And you know, Google Drive is just one of the ones available out there on the market today. And the way it works is that it, it works on a sync technology. So most people are very familiar with you know, storing documents on their local computer which is what Google Drive starts with. It actually allows you to save your documents to a specific location called Google Drive on your machine. And as you do that, it then runs in the background a sync, which then pushes a copy of that document up to the cloud. And the nice thing about that is not only is the document being backed up, but it's also being versioned. And that means that when you return back, the next time, if you've changed the document, not only can you see the currently changed document, but you could revert back to a previous document. So it gives you the ability to have document versioning uh, as well as a document archive slash backup. Now I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply create a new little text document here in my, 
in my Google Drive. And while well, it's new rich text document and new rich text.rtf. And then what we're going to go do is we're going to see if it's been synced or not. So it looks like it's already synced to the cloud. For now, we're going to switch over to the cloud and we're going to see it in the cloud. So this is the cloud view of my Google Drive, of our Google Drive. And this is our corporate folder here. And what you'll see is that that document that I just saved to my local computer is now available in the online cloud version of the, of the, the document storage system. So you can see how quickly and, and efficiently that works. Now, what I'd also want to do is, you know, again, there are more features generally to a document management system than a document storage system. One of them is searching. So we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna quickly search for that new document that we put in there. We're gonna just type in here, um, new, rich, text. And we're gonna search and it's gonna return not just that document, but all of the documents that I've ever had anywhere on my, on my Google Drive that are a match to what I've just typed. So in this particular case, this one came to the top. This is the one we just added just a couple minutes ago. So that is how you know, a cloud-based document management system works and how efficient it is in storing and maintaining versions of your documents. Wow, that's great. And you also mentioned collaborating on a document. So how would that work? So collaborating on a document, it, it works on the premise of sharing the document with somebody. So what I would do is I would literally share, maybe I would share this document with you. You know, I go over here and I would, uh, I would do, where's the share? Oh, sorry, yeah, it's up here. Um, share here. I would share this document with you. I would just type in your email and send you a request to share the document. You would get it. You would accept it. And at that point, you actually have access to the same document that I have access to. Hmm. And it's actually a little creepy sometimes when you're sharing a document and collaborating. You can actually see me typing in the document. Wow. It's that live. So that is how collaboration works in a document management system. Wow. These are really helpful tips for small business owners. So don't have to worry about your computer crashing, your documents are being backed up, you can easily find them by searching for them and you can collaborate with others. Wow. All right, thank you Digital Day for that demonstration. That really helps clear things up. But there's still a question where you, keep, you talk about document management and then you talk about document storage. Is there a difference between the two? Yes, there is a difference between the two. A lot of people don't know the difference between the two. It's very subtle. There are places where you can go and just load files to and have them backed up and stored. Now, that is a document storage system. A document management system is a document storage system plus additional features. Those additional features come in the flavors of collaboration, being able to share documents with other people, securing your documents, things like that. So it's, a, it's an environment and a suite rather than just a place to store documents. Okay, great. So a question I'm sure many small business owners are wondering is, well, is there a cost associated with this? <laughs> so can you elaborate on that and perhaps any um, particular systems that you would recommend for small business owners? Well, here's the good news. Are some of these systems, say like Google Drive, is, that, is free. You, I think you can get now 15 gigs of storage from Google absolutely free and get all of the features and benefits as if you were paying for it. Now, I pay for this service. I actually have a terabyte of space. So I've just exceeded that 15 gigs early on. I know a lot of people that you know are able to survive with 15 gigs for quite a long time before they start, start paying. There are other services out there that do similar things. Dropbox is one of them. Uh, OneDrive from Microsoft, you know, some of these offer, they usually all offer some type of a free, you know, initial trial with some free storage. It's just when you get up into having larger amounts of documents, you know, generally you will have to pay for those. All right. Okay. So, so um, you know, you can look around. There are many others out there on the internet. Great. Well, thanks, Dave. So now I'm sure all small business owners out there have no excuse 
for getting your documents organized and up in the cloud so you never have to worry about losing them again. Or, is, or, uh, I'm not done yet. Oh, or. Or having a document management system that looks something like this. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we all struggle with. <laughs> Don't we all want to get rid of that, right? So. Well, thanks, Digital Dave. Your yeah. information was really helpful today. Uh, thank you, Small Biz Stacy, and look forward to seeing everyone on our next episode of Where Marketing Meets Technology. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This podcast was brought to you by Small Business Stacy the small biz marketing specialist. Want to grow your business more in the next 30 days than you have in the past three months? Get your free marketing plan at smallbizmarketingspecialist.com. That's smallbizmarketingspecialist.com.